Hi everyone, in this short video I want to show you this old book, it's called Artificial Intelligence and Business Expert Systems. It was written by Paul Harmon and David King. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. It's a nice hardcover, it has the dust jacket, which is really cool. And it's just a very elegant looking book. Very, very nice, good looking book. Let's turn the page here. Expert Systems, Artificial Intelligence in Business, Paul Harmon and David King. And I said this is an older book, it is. I believe this is the first edition. It might be the only one, I don't know. 1985, it's quite a long time ago, to Denny Brown and Stephen Hardy. Cool, I just gotta give it a whiff here. Just, it's got a pretty decent, I don't know. No, it doesn't have a very strong scent. Let's take a look at the content so you can see what this contains. Introductions, talks about AI, which is artificial intelligence, knowledge-based expert systems, conventional programming versus knowledge engineering, and then the expert systems market. Okay, basic concepts and techniques. So we've got some stuff here. And then languages, tools, and systems. Developing expert systems, and then the expert systems market. Okay, so, um, and if you're wondering what what this is for, let me just let me just show you this here. So the authors, let's just look at, let's just talk about them a little bit before we look at the book. So Paul Harmon is president of Harmon Associates, a management consulting firm that specializes in helping corporations solve human performance problems. Some of the firm's clients include Citibank, Bank of America, Prudential, and IBM. Mr. Harmon has worked with Technology and Texas Instruments to develop seminars to explain AI and, and expert systems to their customers. And then David King is a knowledge engineer at Technology. He manages the development and presentation of the courses that support technology software products. He's also completing a doctoral degree at Stanford University. Okay, cool. I just wanted to show you that so you know who the authors are. Uh, of this book. Let's read the introduction here. It says, this book is about expert systems and how they will change the world of business. In the next 10 years, the concepts and techniques described in this book will revolutionize what we do with computers. Some computers will still process data, crunch numbers, and perform all the tasks we expect computers to handle today. New software and new computers, however, will soon be available. Since World War II, computer scientists have tried to develop techniques that would allow computers to act more like humans. The entire research effort, including decision-making systems, robotic devices, and various approaches to computer speech, is usually called artificial intelligence, AI. Most AI efforts remain in the research labs. A collection of AI techniques that enables computers to assist people in analyzing problems and making decisions called knowledge-based expert systems, however, has recently proved its value, and numerous commercial applications are now underway. Expert systems are being developed to assist managers with complex planning and scheduling tasks, diagnose diseases, locate mineral deposits, configure complex computer hardware, and aid mechanics in troubleshooting locomotive problems. Cool, right? So let's just go through it so you can see. It's a pretty hardcore book. Um, let's go through so you can see. Systems of Logic, Semantic Net. This is here, the levels of software between potential meningitis infections and computer hardware. You know, kind of a Peculiar book, right? And it's an older book uh, on AI. So when you think about AI, you, put, you think about you know, chat GPT and what we have today. Um, this is you know, well before, I mean, this is before the internet, right? I mean, think about that. In 1985, there was, there was no internet. Well, I mean, there was, you, know, you couldn't go online, right? I mean, <laughs> there was no World Wide Web, right? You couldn't go to a website or you know, ask a question on the internet. There, there was, you, know, you, couldn't, you had to go to physical libraries and stuff. But yeah, I just thought I would show you this book. It's kind of a strange one, you know. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to pick up a copy. Take care.